Greetings and in this video I'm going to show you how to resize your images in bulk. Now to do this in bulk you need to have a paid Canva account. There is a way you can do this for free and I'll put a link in the description box so you can go and check that out. So first of all we're going to create a post that we can resize so you can see the whole process. So let's just create a simple Instagram post. I've got things prepared so we're going to just create some posts um, da, 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 da. there we go so we've got four images that each of these four images are Instagram standard size we're going to do them all at the same time and again it's not you only can do this through a paid account so first of all what you would do is you'd go over to here oh sorry let's name it so resize for video there we go so first of all you'll go over to here where it's got resize now if you're not in a paid Canva account the, the crown that you see there that will be yellow that will mean that you're not able to do what I'm going to show you now so anyway we go into there so we can click there and now we're in the, re the resize box so down here you've got all the different options and, and whatever size you want to re um, resize it to and as you go down and hover your mouse over each one it will literally tell you the size of that medium that you want to resize to for this case I'm going to resize M11 um, by 14 inches this is for a special person who asked for some more help in this area and I know she wanted these dimensions plus another set so I use these dimensions for this tutorial so it's 11 by 14 inches if you want to do it manually like you've got a size that you want to do it for yourself you can literally click on here and it can show you what the size are so you've got width and you've got height and if you click here you've got pixels inches millimeters and centimeters so you've got a good variation so you don't have to kind of like get a calculator and figure out how something converts into something else you've got all four of them so pretty much whatever you want to resize it to these four measurements should pretty much work for you so now we have another box so ultimately you can do two at the same time but i want to keep it simple so i'm going to click off that one and we're just going to go with four eleven by 14 inches okay now as we come down to here we've got copy and resize or we've got resize so let me explain what each of these do resize means it will just resize everything in this window which is fine if that's what you want to do that's great I would recommend is to resize and copy obviously this one says copy and resize so what it will do it will copy this page of all your images and then it will resize so ultimately you'll have two pages one of the original and one of your copy and I think that's a, a better way to go forward than just to resize because you might want to come back to your original you know add some more images and then resize it to something else completely different and then you will be able to do that but obviously if you resize it on the same page then you won't have your originals when you resize it for example say we resize it to a Facebook page a, sorry a Facebook post size you obviously can resize that to something else but ultimately you want copies of each one because then you well you just have copies and it's going to be you know beneficial for you you don't know further down the line if you want to use that standard again and then work from there so i would recommend copy and resize and then once you click copy and resize you'll see the magic happen so here we go and there you have it it's as simple as just a click so back to this one now as you can see these are Instagram standard square posts and we re and we resized it to um, 11 by 14 inches and it actually puts the um, the measurement in the title box so you obviously Chris copied the, the original page and as you can see this image is now 11 by 14 now again if you wanted to resize you could actually resize from here into something else and if you click copy and resize you'll have this original and then you'll copy to something else or you can go back to your original 
and do it from there. It doesn't really matter which one you do it, but always have a copy because then you'll have always sort of something to work with. Um, what I would suggest from this point is to rename your title. If I mean, if the title that you've got is pretty much okay and you've got the dimensions and you're working with quite a few, keep the dimensions in there. That'll give you a quick glance. You know, when you're on your home page, it's easy for you to figure out what size that content is for. So pretty much that's it. Again, you have to have a, be, have a paid account on Canva. I'll put the link in my description on how to do that for free. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. So until next time, continue to share your gift with the world.